Hi everyone. Today we will solve evaluation and management CPC exam practice question. In the previous video, I had given two homework questions, hoping that you have solved them. I really appreciate your efforts for studying hard for the CPC exam. So keep up the good work. Let's start solving. Keep your CPT book open and be ready to highlight important quotes. Let us start solving homework question number one. An 80-year-old patient is returning to the gynecologist's office for pessary cleaning. Patient offers no complaints. The nurse removes and cleans the pessary. Vagina is swabbed with betadine and pessary replaced. What CPT and ICD codes are reported for this service? So let us check option A 99202. 99202 is for office or outpatient visit for ENM of a new patient, which requires a straightforward MDM. 15 minutes must be met or exceeded. But in our question, the patient is not a new patient. She is a established patient because here they have mentioned returning to the gynecologist office, so she will be an established patient. So by this, we'll eliminate option A. When you check the ICD code, that is Z forty six point eight nine, that is for encounter for fitting and adjustment of other specified devices. So that is actually right, but on the basis of the CPT code, that is ENM code, we are eliminating option A. Coming to option B, nine nine two double one. Nine nine two double one is for office or other outpatient visit for ENM of an established patient that may not require the presence of physician or other qualified healthcare professional. So here you can see the question: the nurse removes and cleans the pessary. It means that the service is provided by the nurse. So it is matching with our option B, nine nine two. Double one, and we also check the ICD code Z forty six point eight nine. That is also right. So option B is the right answer. Now we'll see other option also. Here also they have mentioned nine nine two zero two. We already checked it in option A. That is also wrong. So we'll eliminate option C. And this Z forty six point nine ICD code is also for encounter for fitting and adjustment of unspecified device. But in our case they have mentioned the device specific, right? So we cannot code Z forty six point nine, and nine nine two one two is for office or other outpatient visit ENM of a established patient, straightforward MDM. But in our case, the service is provided by nurse, so we should code nine nine two double one. So by this, we'll eliminate the option D. I hope you're clear with it. Let us move on to the next homework question. Read the question. Patient was in the emergency room complaining of constipation with nausea and vomiting when taking Zovirax for his herpes zoster and Percocet for pain. His primary care physician came to the ER and admitted him to the hospital for intravenous therapy and management of his problem. His physician documented MDM of moderate complexity. So, what ENM service is reported? Check option A 99285. 99285 is for emergency department visit for ENM of a patient which requires high level of MDM but in our case this is not a emergency department visit though the patient was in the emergency room the primary care physician has admitted him to the hospital and then he has given MDM of moderate complexity so we cannot code for emergency department visit code so we'll eliminate option A Coming to option B, nine nine two eight four, that is also for emergency department visit for ENM, which requires MDM of moderate complexity. But in our case, the patient is admitted, so we cannot code nine nine two eight four. So we'll eliminate it. Coming to option C and D, nine nine two two one and nine nine two two two, that is for initial hospital inpatient or observation care per day. Nine nine two two one is for low level of MDM, and nine nine two 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 is for moderate level of MDM. In our question, they have mentioned. Moderate MDM, so we are going to code nine nine triple two. We'll eliminate option C. Let's move on solving some more questions. At the end of this video, there are few questions to solve by yourself. So watch the video till the end. Read this question. Twenty-five year old female presented to physician office complaining of persistent abdominal pain. This patient is. New to this practice and this physician, the physician took a medical decision making of moderate complexity, and the time spent was fifty minutes. The physician spent fifteen of those minutes counselling the patient on dietary changes. So the time spent here is fifty minutes, and MDM is moderate, and the patient is new. Let's check option A nine nine two zero five. Nine nine two zero five is for office or outpatient visit for ENM of a new patient 
which requires MDMO, high level and time is 60 minutes must be met or exceeded. But in our case, the MDMO is moderate and time is 50 minutes. So we cannot code 99205. We will eliminate 99205. Coming to option B, 99214. 99214 is for office or outpatient visit for established patient. But in our question, the patient is new. So without thinking much, we will eliminate option B, 99214. By looking at the code for established patient, we can directly eliminate it. You can also see 99215, that is for established patient high level of MDM. So we will eliminate that also. Now we are left with option C, 99204. Check the code. 99204 is for office or outpatient visit for ANM of a new patient which requires moderate level of MDM, 45 minutes must be met or exceeded. So, you can check in the question, new patient, MDM is moderate and time is 50 minutes. So, it is matching with our code 99204. So, that will be the right answer. If you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Let's move on solving next question. I share tips to pass your CPC exam in the very first attempt, so please don't forget to show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Read the question. A 33-year-old white male was admitted to the hospital on this date and the patient was being discharged on this date. So this is a discharge related question. And read the question. Check the time. The physician spent 20 minutes. So let us check option A 99283. 99283 is for emergency department visit for ENM of a patient who requires MDMO low level. But in our question, there is discharge taking place and 99283 is for emergency department visit. So we cannot code it. So we will eliminate option A. Coming to option B, 99221. 99221 is for initial hospital inpatient or observation care per day for ENM of a patient where MDM is low level. But in our question, there is discharge. It is not initial inpatient or observation care right so we'll eliminate option b coming to option c 99231 99231 is for subsequent hospital inpatient or observation care lower level of mdm 25 minutes must be met or exceeded that is also not matching with the question so we'll eliminate it coming to option d 99238 Check the code that is for hospital inpatient or observation discharge day management 30 minutes or less on the date of encounter. So, in our question also, the time is 20 minutes and this is a different day discharge, right? You can see the patient is admitted on 17th and being discharged on 20th. So, it is a different day discharge and for different day discharge, we are going to code 99238 and 99239. I have discussed it while explaining the guidelines. You can check the video in the playlist. So, for 20 minutes, different day discharge, we are going to code 99238. So, option D will be the right answer. Let us move on solving the next question. This is a big question. So, let us check the options first. You can see, here they have mentioned 99202, 99203, 99204, 99205. So, let us check those codes first. It will be easy for us to eliminate the options. So, let us check option A, 99202. 99202 is for office or outpatient visit for ANM of a new patient. MDM is straightforward. 15 minutes must be met or exceeded. And option B, 99204. That is for office or outpatient visit for ANM of a new patient and moderate level of MDM. 45 minutes must be met or exceeded. And option C, 99203. That is for ENM of new patient, office visit, MDM low level, time is 30 minutes must be met or exceeded. And option D, 99205, that is for outpatient visit, new patient, MDM high level and time is 60 minutes must be met or exceeded. So, we have these four codes now. So, let us check in the question what they have mentioned. So, here the chief complaint is right inguinal hernia and here you can check if they have mentioned MDM. So, in these four options, we are going to eliminate on the basis of MDM or time, right? So, let us check the MDM. So, the MDM is low complexity and highlight it, it is of low complexity. So, which code matches with low complexity MDM? 99203, right? So, without thinking much, we will code 99203. That will be our right answer. We will eliminate other options directly. You can also eliminate it on the basis of ICD code. K46.9 is for 
unspecified abdominal hernia without obstruction or gangrene and K40.90 is for unilateral inguinal hernia so here in our question it is right inguinal hernia right so we have to quote K40.90 only K46.9 is for unspecified abdominal hernia but in our case they have mentioned right inguinal hernia they have specified it so we have to quote K40.90 so we'll eliminate K46.9 I hope you're clear with it let us try to solve this question a patient was admitted yesterday to hospital for possible gallstones the following day physician who admitted patient performed a mdm of high complexity physician tells results have to come back positive for gallstone and is recommending having a cholecystectomy so what cpt code should be reported so let us check option a 99253 99253 is for inpatient or observation consultation for a new or established patient low level of mdm 45 minutes must be met or exceeded this is a consultation code but in our question there is no consultation service taking place here the patient is admitted yesterday and the physician performed mdm of high complexity the following day so we cannot code 99253 which is a consultation code so we'll eliminate option a coming to option b 99221 check the code 99221 is for inpatient initial hospital inpatient or observation care per day for enm of a patient so this is initial hospital inpatient or observation care you can check the question the patient was admitted yesterday the following day physician performed mdm so this is a subsequent inpatient care this is not initial so we'll eliminate option b 99221 i'll highlight the term admitted yesterday and following day the physician performed mdm check the code 99 233 that is for subsequent hospital inpatient or observation care per day for enm of a patient and mdm is high complexity so it is matching with the question mdm is high patient was admitted yesterday following day physician performed mdm so it is subsequent hospital inpatient care and mdm is high level so our right answer will be option c you can check option d also 99234 that is for hospital inpatient or observation care discharge on the same date but in our question anywhere discharge is not mentioned so we cannot code discharge code for that so we'll eliminate option d i hope you're clear with it if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below so here there are few questions for you to solve by yourself at the end of this video i have mentioned the answer key So before that solve all these six questions and evaluate yourself and if you have any doubts you can comment below this is question number 1 you can pause the video and solve it question number 2 question number 3 question number 4 question number 5 this is the last question at the end of this video you will find the answer key so stay tuned for more information related to medical coding chapter specific guidelines and cpc exam practice questions